going to start with Mike Singer. Hey, RJ, good to see you. Um, obviously, you had some guys out today. What was your mindset knowing that th they were going to be out and you were probably going to get some, some significant run today? What was your approach going into it? Uh, I think my approach was play hard. Uh, you know, we got guys out, you know, key guys out, um, you know, Gary, PJ, Jamal, of course. Um, go out and play hard, you know, go out and play defense, you know, do the little things to keep you on the court. Go to Ryan Blackburn. Hey, RJ, there was a stretch at, right at the end of the third quarter where you were matched up with De'Aaron Fox uh, guarding him, and you two were a, a blur out there. Uh, is that a guy that you think that you could emulate just, just coming into the game with your speed, his speed, what he's done with in the league so far? I think so for sure. Um, you know, I've known De'Aaron for a long time. Uh, he's from Texas as well. So uh, I've watched his game since I was, you know, 12, 13 years old. So uh, playing against him, um, you know, looking what he does, you know, trying to put things into my game. Uh, it's definitely something I feel like I can do. Go to Brendan Voigt. Hey, RJ. Uh, your coach Malone's been pretty vocal about liking your approach and wanting to give you these opportunities where and when he can. Just what does that do for you at this stage in your career? And uh, are you surprised at all to the extent to which he, he trusts you at this point? Um, you know, I definitely respect much Coach Malone. Uh, I definitely respect, uh, you know, his decisions. And, you know, he gives me the opportunity I'm going to go out and make the most of it. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. You know, I put in the work every single day um, to be in these type of positions. You know, um, it's, you know, it's always a next man up mentality. Um, you know, just stay ready so you don't have to get ready. We'll go back to Mike Singer. Hey, RJ. Have you ever been a defense? I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to pigeonhole you and say you're a defensive specialist, but you're playing the role of a defensive specialist at this point. Have you ever been that before? And who have you been looking at? Have you been studying Gary? Have you been looking at guys, how they play defense to try to incorporate that into your game? Right. Uh, I don't think I've ever been considered like a defense specialist or anything. I feel like I've always been capable of it. Um, but, you know, I feel like there's two, there's two uh, positions in basketball on the court and off the court. And, you know, if coach needs me to play defense, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I definitely watch Gary. Me and Gary have a lot of conversations, Gary and PJ, um, about, you know, how to guard different guys, you know, their tendencies, their weaknesses, their strengths. So, you know, learning from them, watching when I'm on the bench, and, you know, when you get the opportunity, when the opportunity presents itself, you got to go out and execute. Christo Saltas. Hello, RJ. How big boost you get from your performance tonight to coming off the bench to play more than 27 minutes, what it means for you and uh, what would you like to change about uh, as a team about the next games? Uh, I think, you know, as a team, I think, you know, playing all four quarters, you know, as hard as possible. I feel like we get kind of complacent in, in those third quarters. Um, but, you know, just finishing out games, finishing out halves um, is, a, is a big key. And you know, with the 27 minutes for me, you know, just kind of got to take it and run with it. Um, you know, whatever opportunity I get, you know, I'm blessed and I'm grateful for um, and you just have to be ready and go out and, you know, play your hardest. We'll go back to Mike Singer. Hey, RJ. Have you ever had 10 rebounds in a game before, or when was the last time that happened? Uh, I think I had, like, 16 or 17 rebounds in high school probably about a year and a half ago. But that's about it. <laughs> it was high school, so I don't know. We'll go back to Ryan Blackburn. RJ, just as you continue to develop within the league, is, is ball handling and, and handling the ball a little bit within this offense, uh, watching guys like Monte Morris, Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Will Barton, is how, how, how important has that been for you in preparing you for this step? Uh, it's definitely, you know, very important. Uh, you know, watching Tay, watching Jamal, um, two great ball handlers, you know, watching them in practice, learning from them in practice. Uh, that's definitely something that uh, I feel like is going to be a strength of mine, you know, just keep working at it. Uh, and, you know, once the opportunity presents itself, you know, go out and, you know, do those things just like those guys. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, RJ. Thank you, guys.